gang, how's it going? And I'm going to give you New Year's resolution idea number five, and that is to put yourself first and to take care of yourself. I know a lot of times we tend to give and give and give to other people because that's the right thing to do. And a lot of times we find that we do that at the cost of ourselves or do that at the cost of our relationships or the cost of our family. I find that this is a real problem sometimes and I feel terrible. I have girlfriends who have the best of intentions when they give and give and give and yet I can tell that at the end of the day or at the end of the week they are done. And they are exhausted and they don't feel good and then it's like I don't see them for several days because they are recovering from all this giving that they've done. There's a quote that I read that says, as people, we tell ourselves that all we deserve are the crumbs. We only give to ourselves when everyone else has been given to. That's when we tell ourselves we deserve to receive. Give to yourself today instead. If you wait, then all that's left over is the crumbs. While it is great to lose ourselves in the service of others, and when we serve other people, we are guaranteed to be more happy. But remember, we have to do that after we ourselves are happy and in and in the right place to do that for other people. I'm not saying let's just be selfish and just say, oh, sorry, no, but it's all about me. If you have a good heart and if you are doing your absolute best, there is nothing wrong with taking a little bit of time for yourself. And on this site that I read the quote from, there is actually a little exercise that you can do. And I'll link the site down below. It says, think of five activities that make you happy and list them. Once you have your list, write down the last time you did those things. Once you have your second list, check to see if there's anything you either can't remember doing or haven't done in a few months. And then go do them. If these are things that make you happy, then go do them. And another thing is, is to give yourself time. When you're giving yourself this time and your phone rings and if you're busy doing something for yourself, don't answer the phone. Let voicemail get it and you can call them back. Don't answer your texts right away. That is another reason why I have my apps on silent. I like it that way because that way I don't feel rushed into responding it because I always feel like when someone texts me, I feel like it's like they're waiting for me. Do you not feel that way when someone texts you? Don't you feel like they're sitting there like waiting? And I can't stand that feeling. That way I don't have to listen to it. I can put my phone down and then when I grab my phone, go, oh, I got an email or oh, I got a text. And then I can go back to it and respond on my own time. I understand that it is a happy balance that we must have between knowing when we are good enough to help other people and when to know when we need to take time for ourselves instead of giving, giving, giving to other people. And that is a balance that is different for other people. We all have different things going on in our lives and there are times when we can give more than we can other times. I have seasons where I'm able to give and give and give and other seasons where I have to give a little more to me. And that is okay. I don't see there being anything wrong with making sure that you are okay before you can give love and kindness and care to other people. And that's it for now. Come follow me on my blog, thetypewoman.blogspot.com. Remember, y'all are awesome and take time for yourself. There's nothing wrong with doing that. And I'll talk to y'all later. Catch you on the flip. Bye.